your next page turner, a Connecticut author is debuting her third novel, and it's called Driven. That's right. Novelist Susan Strucker joins us. So set the story up for us. And Susan, I believe the book is Drive. It's drive. Drive. Yes. That's okay. not Driven. Yes. Drive. After drive. you read Close. it, it's been Driven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Past tense. Then it's Driven. <laughs> it, it is about, um, it's set in 1989, so it was fun to write because it was a whole different world back then. It was, right? Yes. Yeah, really. Um, and it's set in the NASCAR world. It's about a woman named Piper who grew up um, with a father who owned a NASCAR team and when she was a teenager she was a driver and then she got in a bad accident and quit great racing and this is kind of her story about finding her way back to the person that she was and the life that she loved. Now where did you find the characters for this or really the theme? <laughs> Are um, you a race car driver we don't know about? No, no, no. I did grow up in a NASCAR world. Um, okay. My family owned a NASCAR team mm -hmm. back then in the 80s it was called Winston Cup. Um, we had a Bush Grand National team and a Winston Cup team. Our driver won the Bush Grand National Championship was the youngest driver ever to do so. Um, and so I kind of drew on that experience of wanting to write about something that not a lot of people know about, but making it my own and making it interesting. Yeah, your father owned a team. Yes. And yes. your brother also was a race car driver. Yes, and my dad was actually a drag racer as well. He was? Yes. yes. So you so know what, a, what this is all about. A lot of horsepower. About. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I like to make things very factually accurate, um, and I love to write about what I know. I think Mark Twain said that. We all write about what we know. Um, so the, I had a lot of fun doing this because it brought me back to the 80s and 90s when we had the team, and mm -hmm. it was super fun um, to write it and research it a little bit and kind of go back to a time from, you know, a long time ago. Sure, and this was your third novel. Do we need to read the first two or completely different they, topics? Well, of course we need to read the first oh, yes, two. Yes, yes. <laughs> but not to know all silly. about Drive. Um, yeah, but they're, they're, it's not a series. They're all um, standalone. Um, right. But yes. Oh, this is great. And, and the book itself, what's, what's the, the message you're trying? Is, it, is there a message in this book or is it just something, is it just pure entertainment? Mm -hmm. I hope there's a message. It's really, I mean, that's kind of why I write. Um, this book really, I hope, helps people find their way home. Mm. Um, kind of, I, it took me a long time to write this book. It, this is probably the 10th version of it. Um, and it took me a while to find the book Soul. Um, and I hope that it helps people who are struggling um, realize that life is worth living and that even if we don't have everything that we want or if we've had losses in our lives that life is still beautiful. Sure. And you are making a lot of appearances so everyone could meet you and find drive. Uh, we, well, let's see. This Thursday afternoon I will be at the Michael Jordan Steakhouse um, at Mohegan Sun with Bank Square Books and Otis Library. I will be at um, Madison Scranton Library in November. Um, I have a bunch of events coming up mostly at libraries, some sure. in bookstores. Can and we find it online? Absolutely. You have a uh, website, right? I do. My website is susanstrecker.com or you can always go to um, Amazon or bookstores to buy it. Sure. Very good. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Is so there much. a fourth book already in the works? Uh, the, my fourth book is with my agent. So ah. hopefully that'll be born maybe next year. Oh, that's great. Well, you'll have to come back. <laughs> congratulations on your success. You. We'll find Thank drive. you so much.